Hello friends. Welcome to Thursday. We don't know what's going on anymore. Isn't that the truth? All right. Da, 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 da. Okay. Let's see here. What's going on? What's happening? As TikTok would say. Okay. Say hi when you hop on. I'm overwhelmed with the internet today, as I'm sure most people have been through this entire thing. But currently in my school district, we're arguing about how, when, and if we will send the kids back to school. So that is my current state of affairs over here that I'm riding the struggle bus with. And I don't like any of the options, to be honest with you. But now all the parents are arguing amongst each other about what the right thing to do is. And I can't. I just can't. What? I don't know what you just said. Look how well you did in your room? Okay, I will look as soon as I get done with my makeup. Can you get dressed? Thanks. Okay, so let's do a little makeup because I'm not going to sit here and whine in my suit about all of the things going wrong at Shenandoah. All right, so I'm gonna use my RE9 Advanced Prep Work Soft Focus Veil. This is a broad spectrum SPF 50, uh, 30 sunscreen, and it's also got a tint to it. So um, kind of works as a primer on days where I'm just looking for like a really easy makeup look. Um, plus it has the sunscreen factor in it. So that's what we're starting with. Look how nicely pigmented it is. It's kind of like a filter for your face. And it just kind of blurs your imperfections out, but my favorite part is just that it's a sunscreen. And we all need sunscreen if you look like me. Hi, Megan, hi, on. All right, so yeah, so right now, our district is not giving us a remote option for sending our kids back. And um, they're basically saying homeschool on your own, deal with it, or send them back full force. So now we have the biggest district in the state arguing amongst how we're going to be doing that, which is a magical day. Um, because if you are on Facebook for five minutes, you know that all anybody wants to do is argue with one another. And I'm not about that life anymore. I am zen as it gets over here because I just turn things off and they bother me now. All right, so we're going to do a powder foundation routine. Perfect for summer, perfect for going out on the boat, all of the things. Hi, Tanya. Perfect for sipping your fizz. Um, there are eight days left in the month to grab your package at 20 to 40% off with free shipping and a free gift um, and a free preferred customer membership for a full year. Um, really great way. Also, if you're looking to become an Arbonne consultant, the fee is cut in half instead of $49, it's $25. Um, so just a couple of really good options if that's what you guys are looking for. All right, so I'm going in with our loose foundation powder in the shade medium, and I'm just going to stipple this on my face just kind of neutralize my skin. I have some hormonal acne happening over here that we're just gonna pretend like it doesn't exist. For the purposes of this video and my mind today, my mental sanity, they have to go. So all of our Arbonne makeup is vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, soy-free, paraben-free, non-GMO, never tested on animals, um, Arbonne bans over 2,000 different chemicals that are found all over the United States cosmetics market with personal care items. So none of them are good. You want to get rid of all of it. The European brands ban over 1,000 chemicals that the United States lets in and Arbonne bans over 2,000 chemicals. So they kind of go super above and beyond. I'm gonna go in with another pressed powder. This is in the shade Deep. I'm gonna use this to contour with. Um, we're just gonna do a natural looking contour today, but it's all how deep you wanna go with it. I am super fair skinned, so when I put foundation and things on, I need a lot of dimension in order to see my bones. So I just do sort of a line from the top of my ear down towards my mouth, and then I kind of grab my cheekbone here. Hi, Stephanie. Hi, Hayden. 
All right, the forehead, I kind of come down on the sides. It just sculpts your forehead in and creates a nice little transition into the cheekbone. Hello, darling. Hayden, business is gonna be booming if we uh, go back to school. Hi, Jojo. All right, do the nose. No? What do we do about September? Hayden, I don't even know. What are you thinking when we do about September? I am not as concerned about Chase because Chase is eight and, or I'm sorry, he's nine actually. He's going into fourth grade and he knows how to keep a mask on, obviously. Um, but my five-year-old does not. Like, and going to school for the first time to kindergarten and getting off of the school bus and seeing someone wearing a face shield and a mask and not being able to play with another student or have somebody show you how to hold a pencil the right way or all of those things is like not the kindergarten experience I want for my kid. Um, I think that my super sensitive little one is going to crumble exponentially when he's faced with that. I just think it's gonna be bad, bad, bad for his like mental state. Chase remembers what school was like before COVID. So I think that he would be able to like figure it out a little bit better and he's more mature. But Dylan as five years old, I think it's just, it's a nightmare. So we'll see, we'll do what we have to do until we can do what we wanna do. But um, you know, it's just, none of it is a good option. I feel for everybody on all ends of the spectrum. I don't want the teachers to have to work harder to comply with people that are learning at home and people that have to send their kids to school. That's not fair to them. That would be so hard. That is not what kindergarten is about. Is anyone offering private kindergarten researching options? Ayana really didn't love learning from home. Agree. Agree to five-year-old doesn't understand how to socially distance or keep a mask on. It's so hard. Hi, Rach. Hi, Christy. Um, so we are considering co-op kindergarten for Dylan. Um, I have three girlfriends who have little ones going into kindergarten. Um, and my mother-in-law was a, pre a kindergarten teacher for 35 years before she retired. And my friend Casey, her mother-in-law was also a kindergarten teacher for 30 plus years before she retired. So we are considering getting the group of the four little boys together four days a week with the grandmothers to do two days with my mother-in-law and two days with her mother-in-law. And then on the whatever day we don't get together during the week, just kind of doing a review. That's currently where my head is at for Dylan. Um, because I have two kids, I feel kind of weird sending one of them to school and keeping the other one home. Um, but I don't know. It's Chase has ADHD too. So like, honestly, the idea that he's going to have to sit in a seat all day long and not move classrooms and have different teachers and go to gym and go to recess and go to the cafeteria and have these like little mental breaks in his day. That is like not good for, for him as a human being. Like, I don't think he could pull that off. That's asking a lot of a kid with ADHD. Um, totally. It's so hard for everyone. Parents, teachers, students. I agree. Yeah. I mean, it's not the kindergarten I envisioned for him. I wanted to see him get on that school bus and do all of the things that he was supposed to do the way that you've done it for 50 years with all of the kids. But he is my delicate little flower, like the littlest little hiccup in his day. Just it, he, he fixates on it. He's like me. He's just very sensitive. Um, Chase, you could put him in a spaceship with an ape and say, you're going to go to the moon. I'm never going to see you again. Have a good time. I hope the best for you. And he'd be like, is there Wi-Fi on the spaceship? He literally can handle anything you throw at him. He is the most flexible, self-assured child I have ever met. I wish I was like Chase. He is an incredible person. Dylan and I were like, looking for all of the angles. We're writing down every bad thing that could happen, um, elaborating on each bad thing that could happen with extra bullet points. Like that is Dylan and I. So many kids are sent to private kindergarten because of Shemmy Half Day. Agree, agree. Hi, Meg. I think many siblings go to different schools when one's in kindergarten. Agree. 
Yeah, honestly, Chase would literally be in a spaceship if it were up to him. Um, the other thing is our school district is asking us to try to drive our kids to school, which if you've ever tried to enter our school campus is already a complete disaster because of all the buses, all the teachers and all of the parent drop-offs and then the students to the high school driving in. I can't even imagine if 50, I can't even imagine if 50% of the school goes to their parents driving them to class. We will literally sit in traffic for two hours. And for me, I have a kindergartner and a fourth grader. I would have to be on campus three times a day to drop off and pick up. It's like, no thanks. That sounds like I will spend my whole day doing that. Um, let's go in with another press powder in the shade Fair and do our under eyes. Oh Lord, I've been driving Ayana for years because of her motion sickness. It'll be crazy. Chase gets car sick too. Oh my God. Um, he does okay on the bus because it like distracts him like with, you know, hanging out with his Goombas. But um, I'm just going to take my damp eco tool sponge and I'm going to put it in my Fair pressed powder. And I'm going to go on my under eyes with it. And see how that just brightens up so nice. Um, I don't know. There's not even desks in kindergarten. Like they just have shared tables and everything is supposed to be like very group dynamic and share with your neighbor and sit on the rug and read books with the class and all of that kind of stuff. So how are they going to socially distance? Right, you're on here to do makeup. <laughs> this is my soapbox for many things, Hayden. This is how life goes. I'm I'm in a complete squirrel moment over here. Um, I don't know. I feel like, you know, obviously, if you have been on the internet anytime between February and now, you know that no matter what you say, someone is going to disagree with you and somebody else is going to agree with you. Um, so really, I feel like now more than ever, people just have to do what is feels right to them and go with it. And it doesn't really matter, like, the opinions of others. Like, it's a very you-do-you-boo world right now. Oh, I know. I'll be in touch, love. Let's talk. Sending you lots of clarity through this. Thanks, Hayden. Tell Will I said hi. I miss him so much. You guys have been through it with this. This was, like, just bananas. And now, you know, I'm seeing, you know, it's it's such a time to be not divisive. And I know that that sounds, like, very kumbaya and oh well that would be great in a perfect world or whatever but like honestly I have never in my life been more like I respect your journey whatever you have to do like as long as it's not hurting me and my kids just go on with your bad self I'm happy for you I respect your opinion all of that kind of thing I don't understand how we got to this like very weird place of just arguing and angry about everything and I love to argue believe me you're not going to find anybody who loves to argue more than me I was put on this earth to argue with you it's a wild ride the world is a lot right the world is a lot right now that is the perfect way of saying it Hayden the world is just a lot right now <laughs> literally we go places and the first topic of conversation is COVID and I'm like okay well be over here watching a something that has nothing to do with COVID. Like I'm just so tired of um, talking about it. Blossom blush. Um, I'm just so tired of talking about it. Yet it's the only thing you can talk about because it's what's happening. It's what's happening. And now that school is like around the corner, so to speak, for us in New York, a little bit less so because um, we have like six weeks before school is supposed to start. But around the country, other kids are going to go, be going back in like the beginning to middle of August. So maybe our district will wait and see what happens to other schools around the country and how they handle it. But I don't know. We shall see. Hi, Grandma Linda. All right. So our full face is on. We're looking good. I'm going to go in with light brow liner today because I'm not looking to be super extra. I'm going to go in with our light brow liner. Uh, gotta go. Bye, Hayden. All right, light brow pencil. Oh, that is not a clean mirror. Too. Let's try this one. All right, light brow pencil. 
just to kind of fill in my brows a little bit. They need to desperately be shaped. But look at the difference between a filled in brow and an unfilled brow. It's just like, it's her glow up. Her glow up is real every single day. And I love a fuller brow these days. It, it's just like the perfect little bit of polish. We're gonna do a very simple look, literally almost like a, um, like a no makeup makeup look. Hi, Dan. All right. Brush them up. I saw someone do their brows on TikTok last night with a bar of soap. Basically, they took a bar of soap and wet it, and then they took the soap and put it on their eyebrows and brushed them up and then your brows stay that way all day. But I don't think it's a good idea to leave soap on your skin like all day long. What is that about? That seems like a bad idea to me. But again, maybe their skin can handle it. Mine can't, I'm a delicate flower. I'm going in with our light medium brow cream. This gives me like a micro bladed look. It makes my brows stay um, exactly where I put them. So if I want a fuller brow and my brows kind of standing up, I just have to do one of these and we have that. Uh, you were in TikTok. You were on TikTok? I know, shocking, right, Rach? I'm never on TikTok. It's a black hole. In fact, I made a rule last night that Justin has to enforce that I can't go on TikTok after 11 p.m. because I will not be able to go to sleep because it just like one video rolls into the next and then I'm like oh I love this person I'm gonna follow them now and then all these new videos and people start showing up on my feed and then I start watching them and it is a definite rabbit hole of epic proportions hi Heather hi Kristen um so yeah I definitely have to limit my TikTokage I'm gonna go in with my it's all in the eyes volume two palette because like I said, I wanted to do just a super natural kind of look. So we're going here today. And I might use the shade Forest. It's kind of a green color because I have a green bralette on. So let's find a little something to carry through, right? We'll make it look intentional. This isn't by accident. It's a look. It's a look. All right, let's go in with the shade Forest. It's kind of like this greeny neutral. Green is a neutral if you ask me. And I'm just going to buff it into... The crease of my eye. I keep my eye open and I just use a big fluffy brush to do it. You can be messy with it. Don't even worry about it. No one prepared you. This wasn't in the what to expect when you're expecting book. I don't recall a chapter called 2020 when everything you rely on for stability in your life dissolves in front of your very eyes and you are left to wonder how you're going to make a living educate your child and get out of bed in the morning someone that must have just been left out of my copy i don't know was it in yours was it in your copy because it wasn't in my copy but you know maybe we have to write that chapter for ourselves what a fun one to read. When, when we have grandchildren someday and, my, and Chase is like, you know, when I was in third grade, grandma had to homeschool me. And, you know, that's when I learned how to swear. That's how that conversation is going to go. And he won't be lying. All right. So that was the shade Forest. I'm going to go in and kind of do a little bit of a cut crease with the shade Fog. This ivory shade right here. I'm just going to press this on my lid from the front to the back. I don't know. This is honestly the times where it would have been so beneficial if I had gone and gotten a master's in teaching. But at the same time, it has never highlighted to me more the fact that I was not put on this earth to be an educator. You people are special people to be able to do what you do. 
All right, and then I'm gonna take the shade Juniper. If there was like, maybe if Chase and Dylan are home next year, we are going to excel in makeup, um, home economics, possibly some DIY construction instruction. Um, I'm gonna teach them how to type on a keyboard because I learned that by being on AOL Instant Messenger as a kid. And I'm beautiful typist today because of it, thank you. Um, yeah, those are the things that we're gonna learn at the School of Barkovich in 2020. All right, we're not gonna do an eyeliner today. I'm gonna go straight in with Speaks Volume Mascara and we're gonna do two coats of that while we pontificate life, you know, as you do these days. I mean, I taught Dylan how to make his bed. I think that is a life skill that I would not have been able to do had I not been home. Hi, Joanne. All right, so the first coat is amazing. The second coat is even better. Um, this, this is a hypoallergenic mascara, as is all of our makeup, but I have noticed more so in the last six months than ever before, all of my friends who suffer from allergies to unknown ingredients and didn't know about it, me included, um, I had terrible dermatitis all over my face, basically from March on, and it was only until I totally cleaned up my diet and I got rid of the personal care items that had this one really gross ingredient. I can't even say it, it starts with an M. I can put it in the comments later. Um, but it was in my laundry detergent, my body soap, my hand soaps, all that kind of stuff. And when I got rid of it and switched to the Arbonne versions, it doesn't exist anymore on my face. My face is completely cleared up. Um, it was really bad. Luckily, it was just like affecting my skin and not my health. But um, like there was a lot of times where I couldn't even sit here and put makeup on to cover it because it was so bad and it would weep. If you've ever had a rash that weeps, you know how ridiculous that has gotten. So bad. Okay, let us now go in with, we're gonna do a fun lip today. I never wear this shade, it's called Cardinal. Um, cardinals remind me of my dad. If you've ever lost someone and someone has told you that when you see a Cardinal, it's a loved one visiting you. I now have two Cardinal nests on my property. And um, this morning I was kind of having a rough morning and I looked out the window and there was a Cardinal on the kid's tree house. So we're using Cardinal lip gloss today. Um, I'm gonna go in with the shade Morel. This is an eye pencil. It's sort of like a very soft, taupey brown. And I just love the, sha the shape and the shadow that it gives my lips. It makes them look really big and full. I am here for a big, full lip. So I'm just gonna go on the underside of my lip and the center top. And it allows me to overline here just a little bit. Okay, and then on the sides, I'm gonna tailor it back in. Obviously, my lips are not brown. Don't worry, we'll get there. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer in the shade Light, and I'm gonna pop it right on the center of my lip on the top. And the bottom, just in the center. For the same reason I did the shadow underneath it, I'm creating a highlight in the center. It's gonna give me more dimension with my lip. And it's also gonna make the interior appear brighter, which is going to make my lips look larger. And now we're gonna go in with the shade Cardinal. This is a lip gloss, so it's not a lipstick, it's a lip gloss. Um, it's got great pigment to it, but it's not gonna give you like a really heavy look. Hi, Crystal. Look at that great pigment.
feeling like T Swift over here. And you can always go and add a little pinch more of concealer in the center if you want to. Hi, Abby. Um, you can always add just a little pinch more if you want a little more definition. And the concealer also helps to keep your lipstick in place all day. Oh, Megan, it's been forever since I've been able to watch you. <laughs> the replay. It's been, I haven't been as like on here as much lately because I just feel like there's so much going on. Um, even though I'm home all the time now, like, you know, life just moves a million miles an hour, which is why this is amazing because I can just do it at my speed. Obviously, I'm doing makeup and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, but it's when I got here, you know. It's when we got here. I'm gonna go back to this palette that I did my eyebrows with and I'm just gonna grab a shade to do a little bit of a highlight. I'm gonna go in with that shade Desert right here. And I'm just gonna pop it right on the top of my cheekbone and kind of blend it out and give myself a little bit of voom. And you know what, I'm kind of feeling an eyeliner now. Just because of the lip, it's just because of the lip. I'm gonna go in with the shade Arbor in our liquid eyeliner. Um, it's sort of like a dark chestnut brown. Nothing like a winged liner and a red lip. Am I right? That's better. I'm feeling that. Okay. I'm gonna set this with Arbonne Refreshing Setting Spray. Unnecessary, no matter what kind of makeup you're using. I did a powder makeup today, um, but if you're using liquid, all of those things, setting spray, setting spray, setting spray when you finish. And maybe I'll TikTok tomorrow and post that instead. Did you do a video with the rose gold liquid eyeliner? I didn't actually buy the rose gold liquid. So when I bought the cherry blossom, I did, I piecemealed it. I didn't buy the whole set only because I never can see those liners, a light liner on myself. Can I ask what's happening? Oh, you look handsome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to go to the dog food store and get me a new food. Are you okay? Yeah. Okay, is Chase dressed? No. What? Yeah, yeah. He just, doesn't have to see them. That's all right. He doesn't need his shoes on. He just has flip flops. Would you let Mina out? And, I know. Would you let Mina out to do her potty for me? Okay. All right. Go with Ellen. Hi, Nicole. So we have to go to the dog food store because the dog can't be on grain free dog food anymore because apparently that's really bad for them. Because our first vet told her to put us to put her on that because she has a heart condition. So now, of course, I bought in bulk with Corona happening. So I have three 50 pound bags of dog food that I have to haul back to the pet food store and select a new dog food that isn't going to cause heart failure. Great, awesome, super excited. Huh? Oh, you're getting your necklace? You're such a good, responsible human. He even knows to put her electric fence collar on. Even I would be like, mm, F it. You won't go anywhere, will you? But Dylan Jacob Barkovich coming in with the win. Okay, so I will go take a picture. It's a little bit overcast, so if it looks dark, I might come back to my ring light. Um, but I will go take a picture in natural light and I will link all of the products that I use today on this video. Super simple, every day, just a pretty, I mean, obviously, maybe a red lip is not an every day, but maybe it is. I don't know your life. Maybe your red lip makes you feel really happy, in which case I hope you wear it to bed too. Um, so if you want to homeschool my kids next year, um, just <laughs> send me your resume. Just kidding. Not really. Um, but yeah, everybody stay safe, stay happy, stay positive. I love you and I will see you soon.